This is the DJI Air 3S and I got the Fly More combo, so let's see what's inside. One really important thing that you should notice when you receive the sample is that there are this sticker that is uh, sealing the box and that needs to be unbroken to make sure that you have an untouched product that has not been tinkled with. So if I remove that, I can open the box. And it seems we have a bag where everything is nicely tucked inside. Let's open it by just pulling down this lever here and put it upside down here so we can see what is going on. On the top here we have some props that's uninteresting as it is right now. We have, maybe this is a set of ND filters. Let's start by the drone, which is the most interesting thing of this combination here. You see? <laughs> and it looks pretty much like uh, the uh, Air 3. So we can see the new camera and we can also see the LiDAR sensor that's in. <laughs> and the LiDAR sensor in the front of the drone that will help it navigate or avoid obstacles when we are flying in the dark. That's of course something that we need to test out a little bit later. It comes without the props mounted. <laughs> the big battery that's located in the back of the drone. Uh, there's a little bit of power on this one. That's quite unusual as they're normally delivered without any juice on the batteries. So the Air 3S has in addition to the SD card slot an internal storage of 42 gigabyte. We have the, the DJI RCN2 where the sticks are here in the back and they screw nicely in, into the front like this. Take the other one. And then we have the two antennas that makes it, uh, yeah, the signal very, very strong between uh, the drone and uh, the remote. We have a charging hub, big one, because the batteries are quite huge. So we have a really, really big one here. <laughs> so this is the charging station, let's see here. Yeah, there's also a little bit of juice on those batteries. And we need to press the the button here in the base to pull out the batteries. And apart from that, there is nothing else in here. Maybe there's a charging cable. You need to provide your own charger with this drone as it's getting quite custom with DJI products that you need to do that. And then there is the traditional paperwork. Let's just double check what was in this little nice pouch here. Uh, those are ND fillers and there are ND8 32 and 128, which is a really, really nice range of fillers for this type of drone. You can see here there's a ton of props. We will mount one of those a little bit later here. So there's a lot of props in here. So that's the, all the accessories are basically props. Okay, there's two types of props here that you need to use because they are mounted diagonally on the drone. You need two of the A props and two of the B props for the drone to fly properly. So we just rip off the props here. And you can see the ones here that are black needs to go on the engines that are black. Just push them down like this. And they lock into place. There's one with that small ring on that goes to the one with the ring. Yeah. Again, turning the engine or the motor. And here in the back, another black one. So nicely into position. And finally, some would probably argue that you should wait mounting the props until the drone has been fully yeah, configured and updated with the latest firmware. So just to summarize here, you're getting the Air 3S drone and you're getting the DJI RCN2 that is using the Ocusync 4 transmission technology and it has a built-in screen. And you are getting the charging hub that can yeah, basically take three batteries that is included with the Flymo combo. You also get eight pair of propellers included in the kit and you're getting a USB-C cable for charging. Also, you're getting this nice bag that will allow you to carry everything. What you're not getting in this kit is your own charger and you would have to buy that separately. And there's also this very simple uh, gimbal protector that will provide some degree of protection of the camera 
and the lighter and the obstacle avoidance sensors in the front when uh, you are transporting the drone. When you look at the drone, there's a lot of similarities uh, with the previous model. So just for the reference, I have the original Air 3 uh, lying around here. So let's just try and open that one just to show you the difference. You can see that there's actually quite a significant difference between the two cameras. The, the wide angle camera of uh, the Air 3S is significantly bigger. Also, you have the appearance of uh, the LiDAR sensor here in the front of the drone that will make a difference uh, when you're flying the drone in the dark as it will be able to see without any lights as this is the whole purpose with the LiDAR technology. Putting the original Air 3 on top, you would see that they are exactly the same size. Let's just check one more thing is if I can swip, swap the batteries of uh, this one and put them into the Air 3, yes. So it seems uh, the batteries, they are cross compatible. If we swap them around, you can see that uh, they look more or less identical on the base. There's not much of a difference there. The sticker is the only difference. They are both C1 compliant. It's the back side. See, they're also identical. So it's basically, if I can stop throwing them around. So in this case, it's the camera and the LiDAR sensor in the front that makes the big upgrade between the Air 3S and the original Air 3. That will be interesting to test out in the field. Now I will put everything up for a charge and then I will make sure that the, everything is updated like it's supposed to and I will mount my drone operator number on top of the drone and make sure that my remote ID is enabled as this is a requirement as well for a C1 drone and make sure that everything is set for a first flight as well as a night flight under challenging conditions. I'm not really sure what's going on here. One thing that will be interesting is to see if they start charging uh, all three of them at the same time or if they charge sequentially. Unfortunately, they are not. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.